this is the first part of topic 4 where we covers on definition of model as well as how to develop the system vision model using gold diagram and business process model using swim lane diagram. The following slides will expose to you on the goals diagram. Goal diagram is very much suitable to model the high level of specification for system visions. In constructing diagrams as representation model for a system, we normally have different level of uh, specification. So in this picture, uh, you can observe that goal diagram, okay, is a high level uh, model that uh, visualize as hierarchical structure from top to bottom, okay, to represent the system visions. What is a goal? So a goal is basically describing uh, a, a high level objective okay, of one or more stakeholder description on the characteristic okay, or the property of the system to be developed or the development project. Okay, so that is the keyword of uh, goal. If you can recall the definition of stakeholder, okay, in previous topic one, stakeholder is referring to the person, a group of people or an organization itself that provide the requirements or the needs towards system development and they influence direct or indirectly. Okay, so goal is basically whatever the objective from the stakeholder towards the system. Okay, so the example shown in the slide for car navigation system. Okay, we identify the goal by having the uh, ID. For example, in this case, G1. Okay to uh, describe further on the system shall guide the driver to a desired destination automatically and so on. Okay, another example uh, for university library system. We have here G2 is specified as the system shall be used by the students and the employee. So this is basically the objective of the system, the features that should be provided by the system to its user okay and so on uh, bear in mind that a uh, goal can be written in text and also being a uh, model using a diagram previously you have been introduced to the goal definition as a high level objective for the stakeholder okay now what is goal model so model itself is basically the conceptual okay that allows documentation of the goal statement okay and we can refine the goals okay and the refining process is basically known as decomposition okay so having details on the goals and its sub goals okay together with the relationships or the dependency between the goals the main goals to the other sub goals be below because we draw the model uh, we draw the goal model as hierarchical structure okay so we can have the relationship and the dependency okay so goal basically describe the intention of stakeholder can be documented based on natural language and also using the models diagram okay and we can decompose further from the higher to the subordinate goals using hierarchical structure so goal models are very well suited to refine the visions of the system so the refining a goal is basically known as goal decomposition Okay, so goals can be documented using natural language, okay, or also uh, goal models. So a widely known and very common goal modeling technique is the use of N or trees. 
in hierarchical structure by means of n or 3 the hierarchical documentations can be documented okay and we can have the goal decomposition to the sub goals and shows it dependency in this slide it shows you the graphical notation for the type of decomposition n or o okay so this uh this is the symbol or notation for n decomposition and this is the symbol or notation for or decomposition based on the display picture for or decomposition and and decomposition goal trees can you spot the differences okay for each goal tree we have root or main goal and the decomposition of the sub goals okay in the case of and decomposition so every sub goal okay must be fulfilled so that the super goal or the root is fulfilled okay so in contrast with all decomposition it is sufficient sufficient if one sub goal is fulfilled so that the super goal or the main goal is achieved there are three sub goals in this goal model we have g1.1 g1.2 and g1.3 okay as for n decomposition all these three sub goals are compulsory to be fulfilled or satisfied to ensure the main goal G1 is successfully achieved. The previous sub goal 1.2 circumnavigating traffic jams is further refined and breaking down to more two sub goals. One G1.2.1 and G1.2.2 okay using or decomposition so as for or decomposition if only one of these sub goals is fulfilled or satisfied then the main goal or the root G1.2 is sufficiently achieved The picture shows the complete goal model for car navigating system with G1 as main vision or goal to be satisfied by end decomposition of G1, G1.1, G1.2 and G1.3 and further refine using or decomposition for another two sub goals G1.2.1 G1.2.2 uh, for the second level structure for G1.